Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. So for this reading, I'm going to be telling you who is coming in towards you. There is a couple of different deck of cards I'm going to be using and some letters for the initials of this person. So let's dive in. Okay, so you have the Two of Cups. So there is a person that is coming in that um, maybe your partner, someone that you want to propose to. I feel like there is a, a potential to be a soulmate here. There is to be a relationship that is blooming here. You have the Hermit. So... There is to be having some soul searching time with this person. I feel like they're doing a lot of reflection, a lot of introspection, um, and they're doing this in some solitude. Okay, reverse Knight of Swords. So this person may be a little bit hurtful, they feel a bit hurt. Um, I feel like they're out of their depth and they can be a little bit out of control for some of them here as well. Page of Swords. So I feel there is to be a person that's very guarded. They try to think before they speak. Um, they tend to look over their shoulder quite a lot here and they just want to... Um, they don't want to be in, involved in any arguments. I feel like they try to seek some fairness in a situation here. Okay, Page of Pentacles. This person is lacking in common sense. They have um, a lack of goals, a lack of inspiration, what they want to do with their life. I feel like they have a lot of issues that is going on in their life at the present moment. Reverse Knight of Pentacles. This person can be a bit impatient, a little bit lazy. I feel like they can be a bit unstable, unreliable and a little bit disloyal as well. Reverse two of wands, there is a lot of indecisiveness that this person has. They have a lot of options that is a bit restrictive. Um, but they also has a lot of fear of change as well. Reverse seven of swords. So this person has come in that is confessing something. I feel like they want to come clean. They want to turn over a new leaf. They their own conscience is um, starting to kick in. Four of uh, Swords. This person has a lot of anxiety. They have a lot of fears. I feel like they can be a little bit overwhelmed on times and they're just trying to recuperate themselves to actually come back out of isolation. Reverse Wheel of Fortune. So this person's going through a lot of um, delays, setbacks. They're going through unwelcome changes. Something may be making them a bit disruptive or they have been external forces that is causing a lot of things to go awry for them. Seven of Cups. So this person has a lot of options. They can be a little bit illusional, you know, just fantasizing things, um, wishful thinking. I feel like they have a multiple um, different possibilities or they feel that like you've got um, multiple different um, opportunities with people. Two of Swords. This person is um, going through some difficult 
situations um, they may be torn between two different people two different situations I feel like they can be going through um, a very stalemate situation the Empress so this person may be pregnant this person may be um, a mother figure I feel like this person has a lot of um, beautifulness about them. They have a lot of beauty, a lot of nurturing energy. They can be very sensual as well. Ace of Pentacles, this person's going to be having some financial structure coming in from. I feel like they there may be a new job, a new business coming in. Um, they manifest in something to come in, especially like opportunities um, and like investments. Reverse Nine of Pentacles. This person can be a bit um, reckless with their money. I feel like they can lack stability and security as well reverse moon there is secrets that's going to be revealed i feel like the truth is going to be exposed um and there is to be some type of self-deception going on here person either walked away or you're walking away from this person I feel like there is to be some introspection looking deeper um, at the situation here and there is to be like some form of disappointment that's involved okay reverse hierophant I feel this person's having some type of lifestyle um, that is unconventional um, there is a sense of reversing their roles to what they're supposed to be like I feel like the way they are um, acting and being is not the way they was brought up to be reverse magician there is some form of manipulation that's involved here and I feel like this person is very deceptive, they can be a bit cunning, they may be doing some, some form of trickery. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. There's a lot of heartbreak, there's a betrayal, there's a sense of um, a separation and sadness and heartache here as well. Reverse Three of Pentacles, I feel like this person's trying to learn more about the situation or trying to learn more about you because they want to work really hard to build a commitment to you. Reverse Ace of Cups, I feel there's a lot of sadness, there's a lot of pain, this could be to do with an ex-partner, um, you may have had a miscarriage with this person. Um, there's a lot of repressed emotions going on. Four of Wands, there is to be a reunion. There is to be happy families. There may be a new um, form of a family setting, um, homecoming, working together, doing teamwork and things coming, um, all coming together. But there may be like a wedding or an event or a surprise or some form of a celebration 
um, where you may encounter this person. Let's do the next deck of cards. So you have keep an open mind, your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectations. Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you may be forgiving this person. very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully have stay optimistic about your love life so positive thinking and faith will bring you in some romance give your relationship a chance so try and work on your partnership Okay, so you got a soulmate card. So you have a soul connection, partnership, agreement, or soul contract with this person that's coming in. Go with the snake. So this person's an empath or a narcissist. Either they're being charmed or they feel like they're being used, and there is boundaries that's in place. this person feels deeply hurt sad they may have separated with you they may have gone through a breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning real talks so they're spending time with friends trying to move on being happily single living in the moment and having fun have the grim reaper so the relationship is over with this person with no second chances growing and transforming their life addiction there's the codependency with this person there's obsession possession controlling it is um being blocked and put on a restraint Hide behind material things. I love you. I hid who I really am from you. I wonder if you're happy without me. I knew exactly what I was doing. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I replay our conversations over and over. 
I know I crossed the line with you. I want to tell you how I feel. You came closer than anyone. Okay, let's see what initials this person has in their name. Okay. So we have A, X, V, G, U, J, K, and Q. Okay, then Sagittarius, that is your reading. If you enjoy it and you can resonate with it, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.